Who's up front at four? They're calling it an experience, pairing good food and wine. Throw in a few hot air balloons and you've got yourself an event that draws thousands of people. Justin joins us live with more about the Nebraska Balloon and Wine Festival. Sounds like a great event. A lot of great right. things all coming together, right? right? So I, I asked <laughs> the folks, the organizers, is it the food and wine that brings the people? Is it the hot air balloons that bring the people? All of it. It's both. Either way, I, I would say it's a toss up. It's going to attract about 12,000 wow. people to this wow. event this weekend. I know. Uh, and one local chef is busy getting ready for a very special lunch. If only you could smell what's cooking in this smoker. I put these on about 7 o'clock this morning. It's the latest creation from executive chef Thomas Brammer. His plan? To make mouths water. Well, I started brisket at 6 this morning, so I'll probably be here until about 10 o'clock tonight before that's done. He's not blowing any smoke when it comes to his schedule. Today will be long, cooking for the Firewater Grill in Omaha. Uh, I can do from a deli buffet to a, uh, you know, a four course plated uh, filet dinner. He's also putting the finishing thoughts and touches on his creations for the Nebraska Balloon and Wine Festival this weekend. He's pulling out all the stops with a beef patty slider, a house smoked pork roast, and a dessert. You're taking a risk sometimes on, you know, like a, a grilled chocolate sandwich for dessert. But pressure isn't anything new to Chef Thomas. At just 15 years old, he started washing dishes at Denver's four star Brown Palace Hotel. Hard work and the ability to cook paid off. By the time I was 19, I had worked myself up to lead cook in their uh, fine dining restaurant, the uh, Palace Arms. Now, years later, Chef Thomas is still in the kitchen, dicing and delivering dishes that he hopes will make your mouth water. So I'm everybody, so hungry right now. I know. <laughs> really? <laughs> I know. When, food stories is when we went there, uh, the photographer that I worked with, Jason, was, we were all hungry. And uh -huh. then, you know, you go to the smoker and he opens that up and it's like, oh, oh my yeah. gosh. Yeah. It, it, if you could smell it, it's fantastic. Makes you salivate just yeah. looking at it. Too. So the Balloon and Wine Festival kicks off on Friday night at 5 o'clock. They also have the Hot Air Balloon Glows, which is really cool to mm -hmm. see. It goes on Saturday. Um, if you want more information, of course, you can go to our website, kmtv.com.